Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my home here. I'm again in front of the Christmas tree because I just got a package right through this front door. Got my 2021 Christmas babies back here. So I hope you got to watch the other video that I just posted this weekend where I opened the three Christmas babies. I had a newborn, a preemie, and a lily. There was a bit of a mishap. They were delivered to the wrong house. Then I was opening the papers on camera and noticed that um, I got two sets of papers with the name of the newborn and no papers for the preemie Holly Jingle. So I have received a response from Vicky, from <laughs> Vicky. I'm combining their names, Vicky and Billy, because I usually email them both. But I did get a response from Vicky in Babyland, and she told me that I need to write void on them on the papers and send them back to them and then once they receive them they will issue the replacement so I was a little bummed that I have to wait to send these back but I guess that's the procedure so what are you gonna do so if that ever happens to you um, just email Vicki or Billy at Babyland and they will take care of it so I'm going to actually be going to the post office in a little while I have to mail a uh, crocheted afghan that I made for my mom that's taken me so long because I stopped doing it for like a year <laughs> so I finally finished it so she could have it before the winter is over back east and I'm going to be sending that out at the post office so I'm going to drop that the incorrect voided papers to baby land at the same time but you know either way um we still have an unboxing to do here, so let's get on with that. I have one other baby I had purchased again for last weekend. I was bad, I got into trouble. So I guess we know that that's what I got myself for Christmas. But anyway, um, this is the one regular kid. She was posed in the photo online on the dot com in front of the Christmas tree, kind of like the Christmas babies, but she was a regular baby, I guess, not a Christmas baby, so. I just loved her face sculpt so much and I already kind of knew I wanted to get a a newer uh, adult adult <laughs> I am like not able to speak properly today adult softy sure a new <laughs> full size excuse me softy with black hair so they're they seem to be not as common I don't even know if I have one with black hair I think I have one vintage with black hair and she's an African-American girl. But I don't think I have any other softies with black hair. So it seems to be a little less common and I, I knew I didn't have one, particularly of the newer soft sculptures. So I wanted to get one and I loved her face sculpt. So I was like, oh my gosh, I guess I'm going to keep thinking about her which has happened, you know that happens sometimes. If you see one on there, that's just everything you're looking for and you let it pass by because you're being good financially. Sometimes that baby haunts you, it's happened to me before and you just keep thinking, oh, I should have got it, I just should have got it because eventually you're just gonna, you're gonna start trying to search for one just like it and then if you find that one, you're gonna see it but it might not be quite the same, so. I just I just went ahead and got it but anyway here's the box I did slice it open I haven't looked inside yet so hopefully everything's good this one was delivered to the correct front porch to my house <laughs> she's in the clear bag as the babies from the dot com are here she comes her name I kept her name that she had on the dot com I actually thought it was kind of cute which was Adelaide Charlie so I love the name Charlie for a girl. I think it's such a cute name for a girl. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And I actually didn't really add any customization. So I liked her name. I kept her name. I didn't ask for a specific birth date, I don't believe. And I didn't ask for any dimples or freckles on her because I just liked her face so much. I was like, I just like her as is. So here's her black hair, guys black hair and here she is little miss look at that face i just thought her face sculpt was cute so pretty so little miss adelaide charlie she's got these beautiful pink bows she's got 
double ponies, black ponies. She's got this pretty dress on, pink and white. Adelaide Charlie, Charlie with a double E at the end, how cute. Charlie, ironically, is a family name as well, I guess you could say, because I mentioned in the last video that Christmas Eve was my grandfather's birthday. Well, my grandfather's name was Charlie. Um, actually, Charles, and he went by Chuck, but his son, my uncle, always went by Charlie, so it's a family name. Um, so, And I've always been a fan of the show since I was a kid, Charlie's Angels, so I mean, there's that. But I just thought it was adorable, Adelaide Charlie. So anyway, back to the dress. Here's the shoes. She's got these cute little white, like patent leather kind of shoes. And she's just beautiful. And also, I had noticed that for a while I was getting a lot of the soft sculptures with the brown eyes, which is another favorite of mine. Um, green is probably not my favorite. I think green might be my least favorite, although I still like it and appreciate it. Um, but. I felt like I had a lot of brown-eyed babies and I wanted to get some more blue-eyed babies in the new softies. So you might notice that a lot of my babies recently, I've been getting more blue-eyed babies to make up for the lack that I thought I had in, on, in the babies with blue eyes. But I just think she's beautiful. Take a look at the back of the dress. And then I guess we should take a look at the papers just to be safe. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so here we go. Let's see. So the birthday is November 22nd. So she's a November baby now like me. Adelaide Charlie. And we have the correct name on the birth certificate, yay. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so I'm so excited to add this beautiful black haired beauty to the collection. And along with the Christmas babies that I have put in my living room, they're just so precious. So thank you so much guys for joining me again. And I have one more baby coming right now, which is a vintage softy. Um, I think it's a you baby. Um, an early one because it has the older tag and it's a baldy and I just love the face on, on that baby in particular. I'm noticing now that as I am collecting the vintage babies now, I look for particular things compared to when I first started because I know more about the differences. So I try to find the faces that look a particular way on the vintage ones, um, closer to like the 1979 babies, which I find that they have just such a beautiful face sculpt, the 1979s. Well, some of them look mad, which I think are adorable too. But um, on the older babies, like the noses are more substantial, whereas on some of the ones in the early to mid 80s, I noticed the noses started to get really tiny on them. And, um, that's not just my particular preference, although I have a lot of babies like that with those tiny little noses. And so I love them too, but when I'm getting them now, I try to look for a specific style of face sculpt and that look that reminds me more of that 1979 baby look on them, even though they're not necessarily a 1979, but it seems like to me, I'm not sure if I'm mistaken, but they might have used the heads or some heads if they already had them from the older babies sometimes on new bodies i have no idea if they did that but sometimes i've seen some that were older like um not older but they were made in their early 80s but then their face looked like the 1979 so i don't know if it's my imagination coincidence but I thought that perhaps they had leftover heads, so who, who knows? I don't know how they did that, but I am really excited to be bringing that baldy baby in, so stay tuned for that video. It will either be edited on right after this, to the end of this video, or if I don't get that package today, it will be a future video in the next couple of days. So thank you so much for joining Adelaide, Charlie, and I, and we're gonna say goodbye now. 
Thank you guys. See you next time. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. Well, I got the other package. <laughs> so it was kind of interesting. I checked the tracking. It said out for delivery, but here it's a little after one right now. And at this time of day, they typically have always delivered our mail. So I don't know what's going on with some of the changes, if it's because it's holiday time, but we have had the last couple of days, a different mail person. And so anyway, there was no mail. But then I'm driving around the block back to the house and I saw the mail truck. So I pulled over to the mailbox where he was stopping and I stalked the mail person again and got this package, just like it, what happened on Saturday. And so I said, I was wondering if I could get my package right now. And he was like, of course, I remember you from the other day. And I didn't even realize at first it was the same male person that brought my baby land packages to the wrong house on Saturday because he didn't have his giant hat on today. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're the same male person from Saturday. So anyway, little conversation with the male person to see if that's now our new male person. It is not, she's just off our regular male lady. So that usually does deliver them to the right house. But he was very nice and friendly and he still felt so bad for delivering my packages to the wrong house on Saturday. So he was more than willing to get this package out of the mail truck for me and let me take it right now. So anyway, I've got the vintage Baldi that I was just telling you about in the last clip. So I'm really excited. I've pre-sliced the tape. I didn't look inside. Now this one, I believe it might be in a little bit of rough shape. It's pretty old, it's pretty vintage. And um, it looked a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna be putting it through Mama's Bath Camp here and um, fixing him up and finding him a great outfit. So let's see how he looks. I'm so excited to see him. I just thought he had a cute face and he actually has green eyes, which I know I just mentioned is not my favorite, but I still appreciate them too. My dad had green eyes, my grandmother had green eyes. I should like green eyes more, right? <laughs> but on the cabbies, I don't know, I'm a brown eyed girl. We have a lot of brown eyes in our family, my mom, my sisters, my daughter. So I'm used to a lot of brown eyes in life. And so I have a lot of brown eyed babies. I gravitate towards them a lot. And then I was like, I need more blue eyed babies. And of course I love the violet eyed babies because purple is my favorite color, so. Whenever I can get one of those, I try to, even though they're not very common. Oh, guys, he has clothes on. I've been looking at a lot of auctions lately. I thought in the pictures he was in the nude. I thought he was all in the buff. So he's got clothes, yay! Oh, I have another baby that has this similar outfit on. I think his shirt is in the blue. But check him out, guys. Oh, he's so chubby. <laughs> He's, he's a no-neck baby. <laughs> he's so cute, though. Look at that little sweet face. I just thought he was a cutie. And he actually looks really clean. I don't know if they cleaned him for me, but he, he smells clean and he looks clean. I think they might have. Well, that was very nice of them. And look at those cute little dimples. Look at the little bald head. He's in great shape, guys. He looks amazing. He's got his little people shirt on. His little Xavier Robert designer jeans. He doesn't have any socks or shoes. Nothing else in the box, so I'll have to find him some shoes. So cute. Let's take a look at his butt. Gotta do that, right? <laughs> he doesn't have a diaper on, so I'll put a diaper on him. So um, he's not hand signed, he has the stamp. Got some hair and lint on his booty. I'm trying to get off, guys. I think that's a piece of hair stuck. Well, maybe it's not, <laughs> I don't know. It's a little dark over here. I thought it was a piece of hair, but I think it's like the edge of the stamp mark that he's got. So there's his stamp. It is a little faded, but it still is very visible. Xavier Roberts. And he's got, as I mentioned, not the oldest of the tags, but one of the older ones where the Xavier Roberts on the tag is like down in the middle. On the newer ones, 
I think it's at the top. And the really newer ones, which were like the late 80s or 90s, I believe, it says Cabbage Patch Kids at the top. But I have a whole video where I kind of showed the different tags if you ever want to check that out. That was on one of the ones with my U babies, I believe. But so yeah, he's got one of the older tags. I try to, the babies that I get now that are vintage, I try to make sure they have at least this tag um, so I know that they're the older ones. So this is, I guess he would be a U baby then because he has the older tag and he has the stamped signature. So you baby, I think meant unsigned. I, I might be mistaken on that, so you could correct me in the comments below if I am, but I thought that's what that meant. So when they started to, when Xavier started to not hand sign all of them because it was getting to be a bit too much. <laughs> so anyway, this poor guy, his pants are falling down now. <laughs> but isn't he cute? I just wanted to share him with you guys as well. I think he's an adorable vintage baby. So as you see, my heart is still with the vintage babies as well, but now I also love the new ones, which is quite a pricey new habit. So I don't know what to say about that, except we're gonna we're gonna skedaddle on out of here. I need to find him a place. Oh, he's got an interesting, very strong profile, guys. Look at his profile. Look at that. <laughs> I just noticed it, and I was like, that is quite the nose, quite the nose uh, profile for a cabbie. <laughs> That is interesting. It's like he's got a little bump in the nose. I like it. It gives him a little character. That is really cool. So now I have to figure out a name for him. I'm getting kind of like Oliver vibes, but I think I already have another baby named Oliver, but like Oliver or, I mean, you could go with your classic Otis Lee. So if you guys have any name suggestions for this little cutie, feel free to put them in the comments for me. All right, well, we're going to say goodbye. Bye. We'll see you next time. And again, I'll say it one more time as I did in the last segment. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And please don't forget, as always, to like, subscribe, and share. The more likes we get on these videos, the more apparently something with the way YouTube works, it helps more people find the videos in the channel. So it would be greatly appreciated. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, cabbie lovers. Bye, guys. Bye.